My name is Koren Zalengera. I come from Malawi. I'm doing a PhD in renewable energy. My research is about the assessing the feasibility of PV and solar uh, for Likoma Island. The basis of the research is that uh, at Likoma Island uh, they use uh, diesel generators for, sub for, su for, for supplying the electricity. And uh, due to high operational costs, uh, the electricity is only supplied for 14 hours in a day. That is from 6 a.m. to 12 noon and then from uh, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, that creates a lot of uh, vulnerability to the island uh, because uh, what it means is that, uh, for example, if there is uh, some emergency care at uh, the hospital uh, during the time when uh, the electricity is uh, off, uh, it means uh, medical treatment can be hindered. With, with that technical feasibility study, I am also doing uh, a social economics analysis of the island so that uh, uh, solutions, uh, the renewable energy solutions based on the modeling results can be uh, recommended uh, to ensure co compatibility with the prevailing social economic conditions. I'm a first born in a family of five. I would say that uh, I represent uh, those few who have uh, risen from low living standards, despite the, the poor living conditions in which we were, and uh, despite that uh, my parents were, were not as uh, educated because they were only educated up to primary school level, they would still give me the motivation to say that, okay, this is uh, the way to go. Apart from being a firstborn, it means uh, I was the first uh, also person to go to secondary school, the first person to go to university, the first person to go to go outside Malawi and uh, do a postgraduate study. And uh, now we are talking of uh, PhD. That means a lot. It means people have got uh, high expectations from me, not just the family, including the whole the whole nation. Some of the challenges related to to doing. Uh, excellent research and to make sure that you you do that particular research in the required period of time for example three years it means they have to be we have to assume that certain conditions are uh, are good generally mm, you, you re research institutions in malawi are faced with the financial constraints so they do not have we do not have uh, uh, the res the good research equipment that would that that would be needed to to carry out the PhD uh, research and uh, another challenging thing I think which I've just discovered when I was doing my which which I realized when I was doing my 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 modeling I I noted that electricity could also be a problem because the modeling was supposed to s sometimes it would take uh, days uh, weeks or uh, even a month. So in that case, you need uh, to make sure that uh, within that period, there will be no, no cutoff of, elect of electricity, which, we, which is very improbable in Malawi to have, uh, to have uh, continuous power electricity supply for, for, for a month. Solar PV and wind, they are relatively new technologies in Malawi, and uh, we don't have the human resource yet which uh, has uh, trained up to PhD level so that it can uh, guide how research has to be done. Whereas uh, here in the UK and particularly at Loughborough University, I am surrounded with people and supervised with people who have got it, who are able to, to validate my thinking, the philosophies that I'm applying and to say that, okay, whatever has been developed in this uh, situation, uh, it should be able to, to work. Also, when you look at the research, uh, the research group in which I work, it's, it's, it's very international and the people researching different areas of research and that gives you uh, an opportunity to, 
appreciate lots of things, not just thinking about your own research, but also to see what other people are doing and uh, such things. Apart from your research, you also learn what other things are lacking in your, in your country. And if uh, we look at the countries which are investing or which are doing more research in, in the solar PV systems, if, if you look at the amount of sunlight which, which they receive, it's almost uh, about half of what Malawi receives. So if, if our friends are able to see an opportunity in a technology which we have got two times as much as them, how about us? So it means there's a huge opportunity. One thing that is worrying for Malawi is that uh, we rely on the hydro. Na, almost 98% of our hydropower is cascaded along one river. So it means... If something else happens in that particular river, then it means the whole, you are meaning that we lose 98% of, of our electricity, uh, of, of our electricity. So we need to, to diversify. So solar PV is the right way to go.